Um, I remember when I, I lived a double life. I could do church so well. I could sit down and I could behave and I could be, do church so well. But once I was on the road, it's a, I was a different person. I'm, I'll be like, how you doing brother so and so? And I'm on road. And I'm on road in it still, fam. Like, what you got on you, fam? Like, what you got? And I'll feed the pockets and then rub the people. Many young people, we work in the prisons. You see in the prison that I'm talking about? The prison, you, did you see the picture of the boys that would turn like this? The elder, the founder of MPK, used to go to John Loughborough School. Cook and Wood, bunch of Christian young people in there. Loads. Because church is missing it. Church is missing it. They need to wake up. And I'm really, you see I'm passionate about this? It's because our people are dying. Our people are getting lost. Our leaders, the devil is attacking our leaders because you guys are the future. You're the leaders of tomorrow. You are going to be the ones witnessing. You're the ones going to be the pastors. You're going to be the evangelists. You are going to be the ones going out onto the street. It's you. And so the enemy is attacking you. It happens through various different mediums like music where they, the musicians get drawn into the world and they start singing. It's happening now even in violence. Our young people are violent. How many people in here know somebody that's in a gang or has been involved in crime? Put your hands up. But it's a stand up if you are around people that you know are involved in violence and crime. Stand up. Or that are in gangs or whatever. Just stand up. So there was more hand there was more hands that went up before. Listen, this is I'm being real with you. I'm just telling you, I felt my GCSEs. I'm not I just want to be upfront because I need to know if there is that happening. 75% of knife in this incidents are not connected to gangs. So the perception is that it's normally gang members, but it is not normally gang members. There is a high percentage of people that wield with knives and go and take knives out that are not in gangs, but they're simply either in a position whereby they've been bullied so much that they react, or another position where they're vulnerable and they feel as though they need to protect themselves and equip themselves, or they're trying to man up amongst the friends that are in gangs that normally carry the knives and they want to fit in by carrying a knife. How many people have learned a commercial without actually wanting to learn it? Yeah? So music has, music has the ability to penetrate into the right hemisphere of the brain. The right hemisphere is stronger than the left hemisphere in terms of visual messages are easier to pick up than other messages. So if you're listening to a certain type of music, if you're watching a particular type of program, you're likely that you might begin to visualize this, you might even fall into this. There's a number of young people that are hooked and hooked on certain addictions. The left hemisphere controls the logic. So I say, what's five times five? Seven times seven equals? Forty-nine. What's nine times eight? Okay, right, so that is your left hemisphere. A number of the young people that we work with in prison, when we ask them, do you mean to kill them? Their response is, I didn't mean to kill them. Some of them did mean to kill them, no. but most didn't mean to. Because the right hemisphere uses what you call gross motor functional movement. Long term use of marijuana causes poor school performance, and a higher chance of dropping out in peer thinking and the ability to learn and perform complex tasks. It lowers life satisfaction. So people get drawn into it and are hooked. Periphery of people that were involved in it, so it's easy for me to get pulled in. When I had rejection from my school teacher that wasn't giving me hard maths to do because I came from Highland House, so my math level was up there. And I went into secondary school, the teacher wasn't teaching me properly. Even though my mum and dad were saying, give, her hard, give me harder work, and even they had meetings, school was still giving me rubbish. So I was disengaged with the curriculum, and I started to hang out with the wrong type of people, and I was influenced. The elder, do you, do you understand the term elder? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. It's actually elder, but it's the pronunciation, mm. colloquial, but it's older. And I'll say to my youngers, I'll say, yo, Go and put a bit of beef, go and put a little bit of stick on her. I want you to pretend to rub her, yeah? Alright? Alright. So what happens now is I basically give them like five bags maybe, yeah? Or I'll give them like... What a five bags? Sorry, sorry. I might, I might give them some money to, to... So they're recruiting for all of them. So I give them a spread of maybe five grand, or I give them a spread of 500 pounds, let's say, or I give them a spread of 50 pounds. I might give them 10 pounds, hey, take this 10 pounds, take this 10 pounds, take this 10 pounds. And I want you to then go and rub her, okay? Go and do it. Go
Yeah, it's alright. Listen, man. Wait for sure you walk in. Walk in this way. I'll walk you home. It's alright. They're gonna touch you. Don't worry. It's cool. Walk. Alright. It's alright. Don't worry. Listen, I'll tell you what, yeah? If any of them people come to you again, right, you just tell me, okay? It's alright. My name's Nathan, yeah? Just tell me that. Just, just tell me, okay? Like, you like, you like sweets and all that? Okay, look. Here, look, this is 20 pounds. Take this 20 pounds. Yeah? Take that 20 pounds. Okay, great. Fungus to harass her. Yeah? And then what I've done is I've stepped into the situation as being her saviour. Do you understand? It's a trust which is being formed. So, she lives in a volatile era where there are gangs. I basically went into secondary school with a higher level of mathematics. Because I actually went to Highland House School when it was in Walthamstow as a young person. My maths was above the level and I went to Northumberland Park Secondary School. And I didn't do too well when I got to my GCSEs because I failed them. I only got four GCSEs. I got music because I used to play my instruments at church and I was pretty good at music. And um, history because my dad um, was an English te uh, history teacher so he helped me. And I remember I was going around for different colleges and my dad knew the types of people that I was moving with and, and, and I, you know, I, to put it contextually, there were people that died at age 16 when I was there that I knew personally. A string of murders, of seven different murders associated with that initial killing with people that I knew. When I was about 15 years old, I was exposed to a firearms. You know what that is? A gun. Yeah? And then I was trying to get into college and I couldn't get into one college and they rejected me and went to another. And them times I wasn't talking like this, them times I was proper like, you know. On the road, thing at the store. Like, you get. No, no, no. I went to another college. I couldn't get into that college. I went to another college. Couldn't get into that one. And I went to another college. And um, my friend actually had an enrollment letter. He passed it back to me, and I showed it to him. And I got into the college. And I queued up in the line for A-level physics, even though I didn't have maths or science. And I had a fake gold cap too. I rose the walk top. I had the pattern hairstyle, and I'm sitting in the, I'm just not looking like the person that's going to be doing an A level in physics. And I'm sitting now queuing up for an hour, I get to the front, and the guy says to me, um, are you sure you're at the right course? <laughs> <laughs> and so he said, can I see your GCSE slips? So I, 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 I passed it over to him, because you know those times you just get the slips, you don't get the certificates, right, when you get into college? And I was like, and I passed over the slips, and he basically said, I'm sorry, you don't have grades, you're going to have to repeat your GCSEs. So I was like, man, oh, I was like, that, man, shut sure. up. Something inside said, go back, queued up for another hour. I got to the front again, I gave him my slips, and a man said to me, you don't have the grades, you're gonna have to repeat your GCSEs. So I'm like, man, I need to get into this college. I've got to get into this college, because things were happening outside, you know? My friends were carrying knives, was a, 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 a normal thing. We were hearing about um, conflict on the streets in Tottenham constantly. There was stuff going on and I knew I needed to get into college. And I went back and I queued up for another hour and I got to the front and handed my slips again. And the man said, look, you don't have the grades, you're going to have to repeat your GCSEs. And the, the woman sitting next to him, her name was Anita, she was the head of the physics department. She said to me, anyone with that level of determination and drive, I'm sure would be able to do an A-level in physics. You know what she did? She wrote a letter for me and she said that I can enroll onto A-level physics on the condition I repeated GCSE maths in the college. She said, take this to another course. And I went over to another course and I took it over to computing and I got onto two A-levels. And I managed to get into college. I had to think about my life. And I made a change in my life. I tried to focus forward and I tried to go up. So I ended up doing my physics and I went to university even though I didn't have the maths. I did a foundation of engineering degree. I didn't have the qualifications because the Messiah put himself in front of me because I began to believe my faith moved. I did a mechanical and aeronautical engineering degree. Basically meant I could build aircraft engines. I did an advanced systems engineering. Basically meant that I could make, make these things. But I didn't want to make them, I wanted to fly them. I did martial arts and I was teaching people how to learn it. And I was charging them five pounds a head at my university. And, and when, they, when I did five pounds, I could do one class with 30 people, that was 150 pounds. I thought, let me do two hours. That was 300. I thought, let me do another class at 600. I thought, let me do another class on the weekend. That was 1,000 at age 18. The guys won national medals, four times national champions. And I achieved my dream to become a pilot. Put away the other things. So I changed. <clears throat> the way I talk, the way I spoke. Because I used to be like, Rose, yeah, 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 what I used to And I had to change. So it was pretty cool, you know, flying in uh, 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 Orlando Tower, which is 212 Juliet Alpha inbound for IS15 request. They come back to me and tell me my instructions. And my language had to change. My music that I learned, and I was playing in church, 
I got a music scholarship. I stepped into my destiny. I started to believe what was written. I started to do what was written in the Word. I got a music scholarship, went to Purdue University, grade 8, I was a sex for a grade. And I started this company to help young people to put the Bible into action. To put Bible into action, to do what he says to do. Remember, it says that the part from me evil doers, you don't do what I say. Do what he said to do. Do more than that. Taking it to Jamaica, Prince Harry met two young people. I affiliated with the Diana Award and helped them to get into Jamaica. I won two awards for Inspires and Entrepreneurship. The first black person under 30 to get it. Don't do me! I'm not the father in heaven, I'm nothing. Because he says all praise goes back to him. It's not me. All I'm doing is I'm proving what's written in the Bible through my testimony. That's what you need to do as young people. You need to put it into action. Stop playing church. Stop doing church. Don't follow the traditions. Read the Bible yourself and see what it says and then step into your destiny, step into power until you have so much power you don't even know what to do with you, be pregnant. Hey, what's up, bosses? Okay, just in the car. Hey guys, how are you keeping? It's nice to see you all. This is just so surreal for me. I'm sitting in the back of the car with the founder of this YouTube channel. And she's actually asked me to speak to you guys. Um, We're sitting in traffic at the moment. We're heading to the, um, the horrible... Um, Grenfell Tower. Grenfell Tower, yes. which uh, burnt down where so many individuals um, lost their life. No, it's just really sad. But it's important that we as people actually aim to lift others up and support others when they're going through hardship. And that's why we're actually heading there. Yeah. So really quickly, how do you think today went with the young people? I think today was great. You know, um, I always say that you should be real in life. You just be real, be raw. You know, everybody's going through issues themselves. I've been through loads of issues. I'm, I'm not frightened to say what I've been through. I'm not frightened to share with young people my experience. It was really good just actually speaking to them about how uh, you can empower others. And that's really the walk that we should have, empowering others. But I really spoke heavily around, you know, gang, knife culture, and what to look out for, the dangers that are there and stuff, and how to stay in, stay away from that and avoid it. I run an organization called The Safety Box. Um, you can check us out online, www thesafetybox.org and you can see it at the bottom of the screen there. We run that organization and uh, we work with a number of young people around safeguarding. Um, we work with schools, primary schools, uh, secondary schools and prisons and uh, this is just to help people to rise out of knife crime, to rise out of negatives, uh, to give them hope in life. Uh, so working with prisoners we have a program called Aspire Higher and that I do in conjunction with Christopher Cyrus who spent a 10 year prison sentence and now he's got a business and he owns you know various different things and he's done well and we're just showing basically how you can make a small change in your life and that basically will affect you for the rest of your life example you've got a triangle the top of the triangle is an apex right most people who know maths you can verify that's called an apex the top of the triangle is actually an apex the further away you get from the top of the apex the further the line spread and so when you can make an, a slight adjust, adjustment just a small adjustment a tiny degree over a period of time, that tiny degree may intersect back to the line that you're meant to be on. So that's the line of success, you have the line of failure. And oftentimes young people are on the wrong line because they've been influenced and pushed onto the incorrect line, which has me meant that they're actually going down a line of failure. It was really good, it was picked up quite well from a lot of the young yeah. people. You know that it's actually a good thing when there's lots of questions beyond the time oh, yeah. where even the trainers want to leave <laughs> so they were highly engaged in questions and then I, I always believe in sewing in so I'm here for a particular period I don't need to leave straight away I had the opportunity then to sew into some of the young people after and to actually talk to them and uh, that's that's a hundred percent what you should do youth are the future oh, yeah. young people are the leaders young people are the eagles I wear a golden eagle can you see it that's a golden eagle right there golden eagle basically because eagles are different types of birds when they encounter problems um, situations they simply shift adjust and rise and rise above the problem and so young people are eagles and there's a scripture which talks about that that you will not grow, uh, run uh, grow run, run weary you won't be tired but you will mount up on wings like eagles and ride so um i spoke about not being a chicken you know if you associate yeah. with chickens you're never going to fly with the eagles a lot of people are in darkness and where young people can actually be a light and an ambassador um, for the kingdom so to speak or, or for excellence or for goodness then uh, they can actually impact more lives and change a lot of people so it was a really exciting session really great still buzzing from it uh, it's really <laughs> nice and um, yeah good check out us out online you know yeah so um i will put all of his details actually cool in the description good yeah. uh, my website as well i've got a, a personal website which is www.nathanielpeat.com and you can follow follow me on all the social channels that's cool at nat pete on instagram Facebook, Nathaniel Pete, on Twitter, Nathaniel Pete, on LinkedIn, Nathaniel Pete. Alright, so I hope you've noted it all down and I shall see you guys in the next video. Good stuff.
Thank you so much. Thank you. And we're two nuts, by the way. Yes. Two nuts in the car. <laughs>